Greetings, my friends from the galaxy. Let's talk about argumentative texts. Remember that we are not here to learn about arguing, but about presenting arguments or claims well. We will learn about how to make a claim or an argument to persuade or share a viewpoint by presenting facts and evidence for a specific reader or audience. Remember that argument is not about arguing. It's about sitting down and politely presenting a point of view for a specific audience. We have to present facts and evidence to make a claim or an argument to share a, a viewpoint or to persuade to specific audience. Let's look at some arguments because I think so, because it's obvious, because it's the right thing to do. These are opinions and weak arguments. <coughs> Donuts are tasty. The governor is a bad man. <coughs> These are just opinions and not supported by any evidence. Good arguments are focused, specific, supported by evidence like data and research. Yes. Donuts are tastier than other treats because of their texture. Now this supports the argument that donuts are tastier. The governor is unfit, that is the claim, is supported by the fact that he misused tax money, which is the evidence. Yes, good argument. When you are writing an argumentative text, remember to present the main argument right away at the very beginning. Then present supporting evidence and more supporting evidence before you present the conclusion. Let's look at an example of a good argumentative text. This is a letter written by a student. The main argument is presented in the first paragraph. I'm writing to you today to take away the half-day policy to help out busy mothers like mine. This is the main argument. In paragraphs 2 and 3, the author presents supporting evidence. Take a moment to read the supporting evidence. And in conclusion, the author wraps up what action Karma Dime wants the members of the school board to take. Remember that this is clearly the audience. We know who the audience is. We know what the main argument is. We see good supporting evidence and a good conclusion. Consider these points when you read an argumentative text when you analyze it or and also when you have to write your own more later bye bye